What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Chins and Giggles, episode 71. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up, girl? What's going on? Um, <laughs> I'm really... Uh, guys, we're recovering. Well, I'm... We... This is the Vegas episode recap. Mm-hmm. I just want to say that real quick. <laughs> and yeah. this is probably the most busted I'm going to look on this podcast on some real shit. <laughs> it's okay, They're like, girl. you look worse. You, know you are me. And that's how I am every day. I just feel... Okay. I woke up <laughs> this morning. It's like 10 p.m. I'm just going <laughs> to... <laughs> Today, I, I just knew. I just knew I wasn't going to wear makeup on this episode. Mm. We got home like two days ago, y'all. But yesterday, I was just lazy all day. And then I slept all day yesterday. And then because I slept all day, I woke up like, I'm telling you, I took like 300 naps last night, yesterday. And then this morning, I went to sleep so freaking late because I slept so much the day before. And then today, I just feel, I just didn't want to get ready. You know what? I'm recovering. I literally don't want to drink ever again. I'm absolutely here for a queen. Yeah. Vegas was so fun, though. It was so much fun. It was fun. You were there since Thursday. I got there Friday. Me and Elizabeth got there Friday. I know. I was going to say, should I take my, is it okay if I take my headphones off? Um, Go ahead, queen. Okay, because it's a little overstimulating right now. <laughs> it's a lot going on. I just <laughs> feel, what's the word? Overstimulated? Dead, you imagine? <laughs> I'm literally, guys. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I got there Thursday. Myra and Elizabeth got to Vegas on Friday and y'all, you know, if you've been watching the last few episodes, we were hyping Vegas up for like a fucking month straight. <laughs> for like a month straight, we were like yeah. Vegas, 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 mm-hmm. Vegas. And I'm kind of sad now that she's over. Do you ever yeah. get like, you know, like, yeah, you're like hyping up something and then it happens. Like post trip depression, you're like, ugh, back to well, reality. Even, like weddings is a thing too. Yeah, like, ugh, back to reality. It was the next this trip. planning Imagine. and then it happens and you're like, that's it and it's so fun it was so so fun i'm just like i just want to go on another trip again oh my god let's mention how fucking hurricane hillary was happening in vegas too i didn't even know about hillary until we were on our way to vegas you know what me too literally on my way to vegas like no first people were like be careful with the bed bug outbreak and i was like what I literally know. on my way to vegas people start sending me tiktoks and i guess it was like this huge bed bug outbreak that's going on in vegas um and you know bed bugs those bitches will like leech onto your clothes and your stuff and you'll take bed yeah, bugs yeah, to your yeah. house and like they literally like are impossible to get rid of like they're so hard to get rid of oh. and i guess in vegas right now there's like a bed bug infestation what hotel because i didn't get bit so elizabeth said that there was like a list of hotels that were infested and the hotel we were at was not on the list. Oh, thank God. But because, you know, like, it's an outbreak in Vegas right now, we obviously got there and inspected the bed real quick. I mean, it could spread like wildfire if you think about it. Uh, it One person has it, goes to their friend's hotel. Mm, boom. Exactly. Walking so, at the strip, one of the little, what, ticks, whatever they're called, flies yeah, on I feel like else. that's, you know what, though? I feel like now I, I'm thinking about it, I feel like you should inspect any bed you go to in a hotel. Because bed bugs, Myra... I remember when he went to Rosarito, we got eaten alive by those bitches. Shut up. When you went for your bachelorette, <gasps> the Airbnb we stayed at, I remember getting bit up like crazy. Wait, bitch. did you bring it to the house? I don't think so. But I, I know for sure there was bed bugs. So we were all getting bit the fuck up. And was it mosquitoes? No, it was bed bugs. Like, what's you the could difference? Just tell. Bed bugs like are specifically on your feet, on your legs. Oh, shit. And you get a shitload of them. You know how like mosquitoes could only like i don't know how much bed bugs eat or whatever but mm. i know that with mosquitoes like you'll have them randomly on your body you'll wake up with like a few mm. bed bugs like those bitches will like munch for hours ago <laughs> no those bitches will like go crazy mm. but um i think i feel like this should be you know something we do all the time when we go to any place because you really never know what hotel could have bed bugs uh-huh but we inspected for like three seconds okay we didn't see anything mm-hmm. and at that point, honestly, we were like on the way. I was so excited. I was like, at this point, bitch, I'll party with the bed bugs. Oop. I was excited. Party with the roaches and all, bitch. Stop it. I was so excited. But I didn't see bed bugs. Oh my God. Speaking of that, <laughs> did you know we just realized we have termites in the house? Oh. 
Karina, I I know we had some, we had a was it a lot? ¿Cómo se llama? They didn't tell you guys when you moved. Okay, in? so let me let me begin right because they did an inspection, right? Like termites, like you think they tell you, right? They have um, to exactly. So we had an exterm exterminator. Yeah, exterminator go to the house because I started noticing in my bathroom, Karina, little dots on my countertops. So I was like, for you to what see is this. Let me let me finish the story. Imagine. Oh. <laughs> Green was like, your house is infested in termites. Oh, good, good, good. No, no. Okay, so my counter started getting little dots. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I I don't know. I did. I saw there was like a hole on top of, like the very top. Myra. Yeah, God. on the wall, not the ceiling, on the wall. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, I knew it was something. I started googling like dots on my counter, Ooh. and it's fucking termites. So we Should call an exterminator. Them? And they sure enough found it. It was not just in our bathroom. <gasps> it's all over the house. <laughs> no. So, well, the basement. <laughs> Wait, not the basement, bitch. What's in the basement? Say, you have a basement? <laughs> What's the one the in the attic? <laughs> yeah, the attic. I was like, since when do you have a basement? <laughs> okay. So they, they checked the attic, right? Because that, that's where they're hiding, right? And um, You're he like, did work missing. You mentioned also? no. They, he did say he was like, um, it's not like he's like you definitely it, the fur to already have gone through your walls to start making holes on your walls for you to see it. Visibly. He's like they've, they've they've been like living up there for years. That's crazy that they I wouldn't... was like so so. What happened? Like from when I when I remember looking at you the report, there here, right? yes i've been there only a year looking at the report uh, they had pictures of the basement i mean they checked everything según ellos. no but i from my understanding maybe i could be wrong but from my understanding bed bugs bed bugs no bed sorry, bugs, sorry, I, sorry, bed sorry, bugs sorry. I would have known a long time termites ago. like they inspect for that when you sell exactly. a house exactly when that's I a deal in, breaker low-key that's a deal breaker when i moved in it was like a slight amount here yeah yeah but I think we got rid of them. Like, as soon as we moved in, it wasn't anything crazy. It was a very little. It was, like, starting. But we got rid of them immediately. So I thought I, it was crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, for me, when I heard termites, I really thought it was something, like, equivalent to roaches. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, why do we have termites? I asked the guy. I'm like, how common is this? He's like, you're in California. It's very common. A it house that's older common. in age, any house eventually is going to get termites. I was like, yeah, it's what? common. So I didn't know that. So, bed bugs um, fuck, so i was really like grossed out when i when i heard we had termites i was like what termites the fuck? eat wood right they eat wood yes so they can do a lot of fucking damage if you don't control Bitch. it foundation my house collapsing imagine <laughs> no 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 so he did say he's like there seems like you know they have their, their little like home up in the in the attic um but there was only two no 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 what the villages two, two areas the wall yeah. they had a little village up there <laughs> can't remember exactly what he said because i was like literally oh like I, I was just like flabbergasted like be fucking for real right now like i just bought this home record i was getting ready right now these motherfuckers home wrecking <laughs> so i was saying you because you were gonna get him out of there but i'm just kidding <laughs> what i was saying you home wrecking their house like why oh kidding, bitch i'm done <laughs> right it's all their home first like stop i'm gonna cry but no no so yeah like i was just not really paying attention i was just shocked they he checked outside too they check and he was like um, and then we also discover that our balcony in the back, in my little Shut wooden balcony, up, he said one of the beams is rotting. Uh. And I was like, last time I remember before closing, the previous owner had to switch out a beam because it was rotting. And now there's another one. So the house is standing on two legs. <laughs> I mean, on two legs, on one leg. So he told me, <laughs> bitch, Wait. he told me he was <laughs> like, well, rot, like, you know, if it's not taken care of, Mold? it, it Raw is it it's mold mold if it's not taken care of it's gonna spread and that's dangerous and i'm like that's what's going on it's fucking spreading he's like are you thinking of renovating like your balcony anytime soon like the porch area i'm like well you all have to well i mean i i did in the future thinking but now i'm like well now i got to i don't want my house to start molding up oh no that can't happen that cannot happen it's like actually dangerous yes um but we did tell him i'm like we just renovated outside yeah yeah because he was saying he's like well we don't know like because i asked him i'm like how bad like how bad is my house invested in, infested with these fucking termites? He's like, well, we don't know like what's in the walls. This is what these That's are the great. holes that I they're was making right now. Myra, when we found out that when we closed on this house, they said we had a little bit of termites. There was no visible oh, damage on the outside. Now. 
Yeah. Luckily, the fact though, that you could see it. Luckily, it, it's in the in the bathroom. The fact that those bitches got through the drywall is what's setting me off. Yeah, they I, eat. They eat through it. That's crazy, Myra. Yeah, they're uh, standing on toothpicks. You know, and they're like, what? Damn, those bitches are. What if they ran out of wood to eat? No, no, no. So, oh yeah, I, I told him. He was like, the well, wall. there's only a few spots we've seen. It's not like he said he's seen way crazier. For sure, it's not like, oh my god, your house is infested in it. Like they saw the activity, so it was that. So luckily, yeah. it's not anything crazy. But he was giving us like the options. Um, I even on Amazon, I bought this like little um, ultrasonic thing where you put it like you connect it and through the walls, it makes this noise that no human hears. It's just like insects. And then when when you leave the house, you can raise it up higher where it's like, like you could hear it. So it's just like it's supposed to kill them. So that's a sad death, bitch. (sighs) God. But I heard it. The noise is like so bad that they die immediately. Oh my god! So Myra, this is inhumane. Imagine like shut up. <laughs> so me over here in the other episode, not trying to kill a fly over here, yeah. killing families of termites. <laughs> bitch. Uh, it's my fucking house, though, bitch. Yeah. Not that making my house collapse, like that part. So it's you or me at this point, bitch. At Bye. This point, is my family or yours, bitch? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> not you fighting not even the family like a, it's a fucking village a fucking come on why you now. got so many kids bitch you know, like a whole this. ass village up there bitch but luckily it's not like extremely infested uh, that's what we think too that's he's like we don't think. know what's in the walls but i'm like that's no i'm like no but we just remodeled our kitchen like they literally they would have seen them right? walls we knocked down walls i mean shit was open to the bone if it was really bad see. i feel like i feel like the contractor would have been like yo the term and i remember even telling the contractor like do you see anything because our house is older it was built in the 1800s i was gonna <laughs> no, no. it was built in 1989 1989 so it's like oh, 30 something years old so yeah i've always questioned like you know is there anything up in these fucking walls and he had not seen anything he's like no there's no activity of it, it doesn't seem like anything that's good so i feel like it's like They've been there. I mean, but termites not are a they're lot. more common than people think. But they bitch, are more you know common. what? I don't want to be that house. T- I don't want to be that neighbor tented up, bitch. <laughs> so he had options. Is that what people do? They tent the bitch up. So huh? okay, this is so fucked up. Growing mm. up, you know when you see a tented house, I thought it was a circus. I was like, "There's rats in there or something." You think that? You think it's infested by like roach? You think the worst, right? I used to think like, "Oh my god, there's a circus." Like, I'm like, I "There's got to be a circus of roaches in there or something." Oh yeah that's what you think like why are we you like think, that like what is in that fucking house that right gotta- you guys let's be real i mean it's not even like judging i think naturally when you see a house that's tented you think like there's like, a fucking circus what, did, of- what what is in there that i had to like pull me out of the whole shit and like, close think, it the fuck up you think there's shit crawling on walls and everything <laughs> right yeah. as a kid i still do remember those- <laughs> <laughs> karina's like doesn't change it no 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 and, and it's not even judging at all it's just like no i it, think anybody you're it's curious. just like I don't know much about insects. At well, this point, it could be a little infestation of termites or your house is it infested in fucking rats. Little, so you don't know yeah. that. Yeah. Like, just naturally, if you don't have a lot of knowledge in, like, insects and how termination works and shit, you pass by and you're like, what the fuck is in that house that they had to cover up the whole bitch in the tent? Yeah, and chances are, a really old home at some point is going to have to go through that. Is that what your option was? Mm, I had another option. So that was one of them. That was one of them. And in my head, I'm like, fuck, no, I'm not going to do this right now. I was like, how bad is it? Like, do I really need the to fucking- move out of my house? <laughs> He's like, they're, what is it called when they completely like, should I shut it down? What? When they demo demolish the whole- it? We no. have to dem- demolish the whole fucking lamb, girl. Imagine. No, no. <laughs> not the wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miley Cyrus. Like that. <laughs> Oh my god! I just imagined it wrecking your house. Like, what? Like, why? Oh, no, so, Miley's not the home wrecker here. It's Ariana Grande. <laughs> stop. Let's remember, it's gonna be Ariana Grande on that wrecking ball. Just stop, stop. So I don't know. Like when he was telling me the the tenting thing, I was like, oh no, don't fucking tell me this right now. I don't want to fucking oh my tent god, my home. That's actually crazy. Not the neighbors looking at us like, what the fuck is our house infested of? No, so I have to it's get not the even reassurance. That. Fuck Trina. what people think, bitch. It's me got having to move out of my house. Well, not just that. I, you I have think to move your furniture out too. One of the main things too that I just I'm like <laughs> googling because I'm like, okay, you can't be in the fucking home. How safe is it to come back? I think you have to air it out for some time. Yeah, it's three days. 
yeah three days it, i'm thinking about noah too i'm like to take your furniture my out? baby like i'm not gonna bring my baby back in like no there's certain furniture that doesn't have to but there's some that you cover and stuff but i'm just like it just seems like a big one i don't want my fucking house tented and two <laughs> i got a child living in there i'm scared even for myself people have died like that's scary i mean there's only like only two three reports of it of oh. it not being done and people like die because oh it's so gosh, strong but well, there's a reason why you can't li- live there for three days girl that's so scary i would i would be the kind that would be like i gotta stay out of there for a week just i feel safe. like my house has to be infested like ya no tengo otra opción, nothing else but my that's something people want to avoid and then 10 20 years down the road house well, let collapses. me tell you my plan i got <laughs> You're like, I'm moving out. <laughs> I'm selling the house. I'm just kidding. So um, and all. they do the plan I got is where they like they do maintenance where they just like go and like they they spray the areas, the infected areas that they see that they see. And um, every time now after that, after they do the infected area, so they won't do the whole house. They will only do what they know of. And every other every every single year from there is like a smaller charge. And you can call them up anytime. You can call them up for renovations. Maybe. Like my walls are open. Um, go ahead and like they inject something in the wood. They inject something in the wood. Something in the in the wood. Come on, Botox. You know ah, all right. Come on, filler. They do something <laughs> to it where like it kills them and it prevents them from getting on it. I I think the noise thing you said was a good idea. Right. So okay. So that's why. I, oh, no, I got it before they Imagine came. Imagine being Literally the day before the sound. Like yeah, I bought it the oh. day before they came. I should have actually turned it on loud um when i came over here i fucking forgot but i left that bitch on for three days when i was in vegas and then i didn't say i didn't sing a, I didn't see a fucking single extra drop in that sink i was like Dead. bye bitch and I just, no because Dead. now i'm thinking because it was like a couple thousand dollars even 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 for just that not tending oh, my home shit. and i was like is it really fucking worth it i don't know if i can cancel still they go next week i'm like to how? tent it up no bitch i told you i don't want to do oh. that yet <laughs> uh, he did say he's like honestly to get rid of completely completely like no trust no trace left behind you should tend and it. it's kind of a clean slate because like you know that any other bitches living in your walls are gonna die yeah too. anything else like spiders flies anything squatters i'm just kidding what is that just kidding like when people live in your walls and shit oh god that's scary that's, that's some real shit bitch stop people be doing that shit living no in i would home. know if someone's living in my home oh, i've thought of that shit before i'm in this fucking okay. big ass house bitch i wouldn't people be literally shocked. will be living in your home hell no i wouldn't in know your walls bitch or in your in a bedroom that you never go into the attic the attic has a fucking there. bedroom absolutely not bitch well, anyways, I went with the other plan where they take care of like what they see and you can call them up anytime and they'll come right back and spray it. And that's pr- where they spray it. It should permanently no, no termite should come back in there where they spray it. So I got that plan. That's good. But I'm thinking like, how much does that little ultrasonic thing work? Because that cost me like 15 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> like Damn. do i just need to buy another one have those bitches across the house it's supposed to cover like a thousand something square feet i'm like i need just one on Whoa. each corner get that shit like flowing and will that kill my termites like it sounds like, like a or do i really need my exterminator to come and fucking fool me got everything i mean 15 bucks i mean but he did say like it works I, look i was asking questions girl i was like okay i tent up my house how often do i have to tent it up uh he was like well how we often? have this plan where like you know we could tend to every other year or every year and i was thinking like Why the fuck that's not the I wanna, goal i don't want to be that house being tented up be every week girl. to a fucking circus once a year like <laughs> that part so it was just an, an obvious no for me i'm like my house is not i was like testing him i'm like oh what's the craziest house you've seen and i was like okay our house is not infested like that i feel like our house like yeah the termite's been been there for for years for them to have gone through the walls already it's only one wall you know so it's like okay oh uh-uh, yeah um yeah so i just got that good luck with that queen and i'm like we love fucking termites damn so next time y'all drive by your neighborhood and judge the the damn house on a tent <laughs> watch yourself imagine how bad <laughs> no like it's just funny i hope you get termites i, I, I hope your house is invested imagine no oh, because that's so sad I, I was thinking like oh my god i was that person thinking like what is in their home it's because you Horm? don't know home you just don't know like I had what to, has to be going on in there. I had to ask my questions. He was like, "No, termites like it's very common." 
Yeah. I was like, oh, thank God. Okay. I'm like, who the fuck lived there before that their house was infested? I was really questioning those things. I think they do the same thing with bed bugs because those bitches are like impossible to kill. Oh or my with God. roaches. If you have a roast station, really they like, do it too. I would think fucking bed bugs is worse. I heard bed bugs are super, super hard to kill. I think you have to tent your house for that. Shut I up. I think you do for the bed bugs. Well, thank God I don't have, I wouldn't know if I had Oh my God. Bugs. I better not brought any bed bugs from Vegas, bitch. I don't think so. No, we inspected no. it. We I didn't get felt, bit in we, Vegas. I, we would have gotten bit for sure. I didn't get you got bit. No, I, we, we would have gotten we're bit good. next week. Like all infested. Oh my god. Yeah, and oh guys, Vegas was so much fun. Like it was fun. I got there Thursday, so we were gonna get there Thursday. Like, everybody else got there Friday, but we were gonna get there Thursday to like do family things with all's parents because we ended up taking my suegros to help babysit Mia at nighttime. So Thursday was gonna be a chill day chill you know just walk around sober vibes so we thought <laughs> so raul's friend pulls up on thursday and we're like period we're mm-hmm. getting drunk so we get there and like immediately start drinking like at 2 p.m period and we got we literally i'm saying i'm talking like we get there at 2 p.m start drinking go to sleep like at 2 a.m i'm talking like all day damn and nobody wanted to go to sleep because we were like, no, because if we go to sleep, we're not going to wake up. We're already lit. Mm-hmm. Like, let's keep the vibes going. Vibes going. And we would just walk around. No, we took a break. Like, in between, I think, like, at 5 p.m., we were like, everybody go to their rooms and, like, just fucking chill. And I took a nap. Because mm-hmm. I was like, As, this is too much. So we took a nap. And then we went out again, had food, and just the vibes were vi- the Just the vibes, guys. It was so, so much fun. Friday p- rolls around. Here comes Elizabeth and Myra. Elizabeth leaves her house at 7 a.m. to make it to brunch Friday morning. Mm -hmm. So here I am hungover as fuck. And I hear my phone go off. Elizabeth excited. I'm on my way. At 7 in the morning, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm literally fucking exhausted right now. I just closed my eyes, girl. Like, (laughs) I'm about to barf. The world is spinning. What? What's going on? And Elizabeth's like excited as fuck on her way here at 7 in the morning. She pulls up like at 11 a.m. And I'm like, okay, I need to get the fuck up because she's here. Like, and I'm thinking, you know, when you get like so lit, you're like, oh my God, here we go, round two. Like, Elizabeth just got here. I cannot say, like, oh no, I'm hungover. Like, no, yeah. we're there for her birthday. Like, she's here. Like, bitch, I gotta get the fuck up. Yeah. Let's go. So she gets there. I think you were still on your way. Cause you I got was. there later, huh? I got there like at two or three. Yeah. So at 11 a.m., here we go. We're going to brunch. And I don't know if you guys remember in season one, I talked about going to brunch in Vegas at this particular place. We went to the same place. The mimosas are incredible. Is it like a buffet? It's like a, it's like a restaurant. It's called Alexa's right next to the Paris. Uh, it's actually in the Paris casino, but it's like outside indoor kind of vibes. And it's so good. The food is delicious and the mimosas are bottomless. Wow. So yeah so we had some bottomless mimosas we got freaking lit and after that we just kept going walked around kept drinking <laughs> took a break so myra gets here and then myra's calling me excited i just got here and i'm like not me on my way to the room to take a fucking they nap literally we're so drunk she's like she's like myra I, i'm we're so tired like we're so lit already like i think we're gonna take a break so I'm barely getting there all excited. So me, Brian, Jasmine and David and Noah all walk to the the Paris Hotel. Is that what it's called? The Paris yeah. Hotel? And we get pizza. Queen shit. And we were tired too because I, I did wake up really early that morning because I had to go exchange some clothing. I was so tired. We all were. And we knocked out like at 9 p.m. I think. And yeah. then... um that was it that was it and then you guys actually went to went out again (laughs) (laughs) so when i'm getting back i'm talking like i'm talking like we got lit yesterday i just got lit at brunch i gotta go take a fucking nap and ring 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 live myra as i'm walking inside the hallway to my room and myra's like all excited i'm here i was like (laughs) no no i was like i'm sorry myra i need to take a fucking nap i've been up since yesterday elizabeth just got here like this is too much you know like at this point i'm hungover drunk dehydrated everything and we go take a little nap and i think that's when you guys went to go do your own thing and you know when in vegas bitch we were like all right take a nap we'll see y'all in an hour or two Mm -hmm. so i take like an hour nap uh, maybe an hour because it's hard to nap with a toddler 
the cool thing about brunch though is like you, it's like available for everybody so mia was there we were all vibing you know like i was able to take her we took our sweaters my sweaters and stuff but on our way back we're like okay like now i'm thinking like, i gotta get ready for nighttime yeah. and i couldn't nap because mia like she's not gonna let us nap so i just lay down for a little bit probably not for an hour max and here we go round three because wow. yesterday oh my gosh okay so we go to fremont y'all fremont is so fun and underrated mm-hmm. it is like we, we went the day after too huh? we went there and we got so freaking lit y'all so lit it was That's so much they fun have that heart attack grill <laughs> y'all have y'all been to the heart attack grill we went years ago with the whole squad heart attack grill i think you gotta be like 400 pounds or over no wait what to eat for to free be let in imagine like what <laughs> No. no 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 no. okay so heart attack grill is this um it's a restaurant that was actually <laughs> allegedly made by a man who is vegan. a doctor he's a d- dude he was a nutritionist and he got so fucking tired of people being so unhealthy and not giving a fuck that he was like y- y'all want to be fucking fat any bad and he made a fucking restaurant celebrating heart obes- attack grill celebrating obesity yeah and this guy i think he's like a vegan so he made this restaurant heart attack grill heart attack Uh uh-huh and there's literally a fucking scale oh my god yes guys there's a scale before you go in and if you weigh over 350 pounds you eat for free so we ate for free i was gonna (laughs) go no No, and the fucking big ass number right there how much you no yeah it's like it's it looks like a car scale Uh uh-huh it looks like a fucking car scale Mm -hmm. and then the number is like this big like showing the whole world that's walking by how much you weigh and it's just a vibe like nobody gives a fuck everybody's stepping on that shit and they make you go in when you go in you put on a hospital robe yeah they give you they check you into the hospital basically you sign your life away and say that if you die from a heart attack they have like large shakes they every their their fries are fried in lard lard in their milkshakes their burgers are made with lard it's like literally like a heart attack fucking ready to happen and it's so good (sighs) Uh, it actually wasn't wow, it, it was really good the burgers they were good uh, they really i mean who the fuck it, orders a large those, shake isn't it those things too if you finish your whole plate you eat for free or something because it was like so much food no it's not that you eat for free if you don't finish your food they actually spank you with like a oh, freaking right. wood ass like a wooden thing they spank you it's very like and they literally whoop your ass. It is a funny <laughs> place to go to with your friends. It's funny. Like, if you want to have a fun in games, till you get in there for free. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> till you get in there for free, bitch. I'm done. <laughs> and then you're like, no, let's go. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. No, guys. This place was so iconic, though. They serve you, like, like these drinks in, like, in IV bags. Yes. Roll it to you. It's giving very fucking hospital stay. I mean. <laughs> it's, honestly it's fucking iconic myra it's hilarious like you literally have your hospital your iv bag and it's alcohol it's so cool i mean it's definitely mocking obesity the jello shots and the syringes it's a vibe if you thought the only way to get a more defined jawline with natural looking results was through surgery think again juvederm volix xc is a non-surgical injectable gel filler that improves moderate to severe loss of jawline definition and can help you achieve natural looking results with little downtime Even better, this improved definition lasts up to one year with optimal treatment, no maintenance required. Improve jawline definition for a smooth sculpted look with Juvederm Volux XE. For important safety information and to find a licensed specialist, visit Juvederm.com. That's J-U-V-E-D-E-R-M.com. Not for people with severe allergic reactions, allergies to lidocaine, or the proteins used in Juvederm. Common side effects include injection, sight redness, swelling, pain, tenderness, firmness, lumps, bumps, bruising, discoloration, or itching. There's a risk of unintentional injection into a blood vessel, which can cause vision abnormalities, blindness, stroke, temporary scabs, or scarring. Talk to a licensed specialist to find out if it's right for you. It's like very yeah, much like it kind of like l- makes you walk out a little bit like ashamed. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> you're like, damn, I really came here. <laughs> I really got it for free. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, damn, no. I really ate for free today. No. Like, oh. <laughs> it's humbling. You imagine, like, right? <laughs> no. um, that it was so funny. fun. It was so fun, though. Like, you yeah. gotta go with it's giving like that one restaurant on TikTok, like the Karen one. 
It's giving like the Karen it's one. It's very much giving Except that. Except it's making fun of happy people when you're there fat, like period. Yeah, literally making fat, making fat, <laughs> literally making fat. It's literally making fun of obesity, like straight up. It's yeah. so funny. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's not funny but it's we can funny. say it's funny we're fat we're i know one. coming from a fat bitch it's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> no guys it's a, i would it's recommend so it funny like you need to go with your group of friends if you guys want to have a good time yeah like and then peter was right i just remember peter with his like fucking hospital hospital dress. being the only skinny one there his hospital gown um uh, being whipped because he didn't finish his food <laughs> I, it was a lot of food i don't think any of us finished the it. fucking burgers were like this huge like the portions are crazy. The shots were in the um shot in little the syringes. syringes. It's a vibe there, but that's also in Fremont. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we partied a lot in Fremont this weekend. We stayed on the strip, but Fremont, I liked it because there's a lot of clubs in Vegas, like the high end clubs where you, there's like the dress code, like Trace. the guys have to be in slacks. Mm-hmm. You, the girls gotta be in heels, and we were just feeling like the vibes of like we're we want to just be in sandals and like get drunk but not necessarily have to be like all elegant because the guys have to literally they can't wear sneakers yeah. they had to be like in dress shoes and stuff you know like some of the clubs and yeah on, so we were feeling the vibe of like let's just go you know turn up at random bars bar hop so that's what we did on saturday i have the funniest pictures in the world Maya, that i knew show you that day really oh well we're showing you i think i kind of saw them the they next were day. so funny elizabeth got so drunk that's so, so drunk. Funny. I wish Elizabeth was here for this episode so she could do her recap. Like, it was so freaking. She told me she was hysterically crying. She was crying at one point. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, we get to the. It, is, it was like 10 p.m. and I was like, Eliza, it's 10 p.m. The night let's, is young. Let's turn the the vibes into because the tears were happy tears. Uh-huh. And I was like, let's turn it into like twerking. You know? Uh huh. <laughs> she was. Uh yeah. She was just really grateful to be there. Uh-huh. She was just having so much fun. It was literally, you guys, like, the funnest time. Elizabeth literally said, she's like, I've never been this drunk in my life. And, like, actually been like, you know how sometimes you get so drunk, where you, but you're just like, the the vibe is killed because you're so drunk? Yeah. For her, she said she mentioned that she was just so drunk, but she was so excited because, like, she's never been so drunk, but also, like, just, like, she like, was fine. She wasn't, yeah. like, you know, like, none of us, none of us were, like, falling over, throwing up. Yeah, or until yeah. the next day. Uh-huh. But it was so fun. We wake up the next day. What do we do? Oh, oh, we go well, eat. We went to go eat. Yeah, we went to go eat. And then, yeah, Saturday we were like, we really took it easy. We were like, we're going to eat. After that, we took naps again. And mind you, this is our, me, Jasmine, David, Brian's Noah's first time actually like going out because we didn't do shit on Friday. Yeah. So we went to have breakfast. That was fun. And then what else did we do oh my god we were walking across the fucking strip while hurricane hillary took over oh my god yes so that's the day it started fucking raining huh no it was raining on friday when i got there okay and i was like oh my god is this really the fucking hurricane i think friday night it wasn't because we were out and like it wasn't oh yeah but But when we got there like around like four there was it was going down i was like oh my god i actually started kind of worrying a little bit i thought it was gonna be a little crazier i mean the thunder was crazy the when thunder was scared me i was like i'm gonna go outside you know yeah. hearing those stories so uh saturday was like our first outing official outing did you see the tiktoks that they were showing like the link and stuff like flooding no way there was like tiktoks of like the f- they were showing like the flood in vegas and i was like i literally don't see any flood maybe some hotels were flooded. I don't know. <laughs> but I was like, yo, it's the sprinkling in here. Right? It's crazy. No, and then it's funny. The next day, like, after having breakfast, we're walking around the whole strip. Like, yes, that day. It's like freaking 5 p.m. We literally walked to... What hotel was it? I forgot. We did We did this whole commotion walking across the strip. We were going to go to Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace. Halfway there, we're like, it's 36 p.m. We have to be out of the Elizabeth room. uses the restroom. She got to she gotta take a, a shit a at Dre's. <laughs> no, at Cromwell. The Cromwell. She took a shit at Cromwell. And that's when we were like, you guys, yes, started. Like, we, let's go. Like, we're wasting our day just walking around. No, because we were like, we have to get ready and meet in two hours. And somehow still take a nap. And the joke of the day was like, we walked all the way over here for Elizabeth to take a shit. <laughs> literally. Literally. <laughs> yeah. And there we are walking back in the Why middle of a fucking is- hurricane. No, because literally Vegas, like the hotel next door will take you an hour to get there. It took so long. And then like, you know, with the kids, we got to take forever. elevators. And then it started pouring on us. It was rain. Like we were literally walking like in the rain. Pouring rain. It's- that's when it started pouring, bitch. <sighs> And that's when we were like, it's literally going to be six already. We're supposed to be getting it ready already. And then we go to the hotel and go to the food court. You get more pizza. 
I go take a like an hour. I don't even think I fucking napped. Maybe thirty minutes, and then we get ready for round. What's my that was my first five? Time. I don't know. I don't know how the fuck you guys were doing it. I don't know. At that point, my night was so. I fun, was done. Though. We but, went to f- Fremont we did again. I, and you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I was so fucking done at that point. But I was like, <laughs> it's the last day. Elizabeth, man, she is so fucking hilarious. You guys, this is exactly what went down at the club. Eh? I just remember, like, oh, oh, sorry. I'm like over here, all. I literally just remember, like, you know, we were just there in that club. There was like a lounge area. And you didn't even have to oh be my VIP. God, yes. You didn't yes. Even have to be VIP. But that there place was, was crickets, area. bitch. It was kind of dead, which was kind of iconic because once you're drunk, you don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> um, so we were like hanging on that little lounge area. It felt like VIP. It really felt like that. Because Fremont, like, it's not like, it's, you're not going to compare it like that to Dre's. First of all, that place we went to was called Inspire. Um, we pulled up at a certain time where maybe it was like dead. So they were trying to have people come in. It was 30 bucks. Open bar. Open bar. So we're like, no freaking way. Open bar. We were like, we got to go there. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, no way. You know? So Elizabeth, I just remember y'all, the first one, the first one that was like drunk. Well, the last one too was Ismael. Ismael. Guys, Elizabeth man. so drunk. And I just remember, I mean, he was feeling that girl i remember can we please enter some videos here oh, oh my god it's so funny i just remember looking over he's my on the couch elizabeth just jumping on him like straight up just jumping <laughs> not jumping what's jumping. the word jumping like you know how when you're like dancing turkey it was very like, much like okay that. you know how like so, uh, it started off very much okay like yeah yeah you know ass. it started off shaking ass and at some point it was just like <laughs> At some point, <laughs> at some point, she was just bouncing on him. I was like, "Y'all ain't even fucking dancing no more." It was so. No, at one point, it was just, just that bouncing, man. just bouncing. <laughs> I'm like, "Y'all, what's going on?" That shit was fucking funny. It was so funny because like they were in their own fucking world. Like it was just so <laughs> funny. Oh my god, that night. <laughs> It was too funny. Oh it was too funny. Oh my god, funny. that was but so we, funny. We all had a blast. We, we had all, so much fun. We had a blast. Um, and it was still fucking raining. It was still raining. And I love that it was so that place, guys. Maybe because it was already the storm had hit already, so it was like rain. That's when it started raining hard. And I feel like a lot of people were like not in the area as much because I remember walking around. It, and was, it was very like chill there, and it was cool because you know it was dead. So they were like, "Oh, open bar, open bar, freak a whole lounge in the middle uh-huh. of the dance floor." It felt so VIP. The the place felt like it was just there okay. For us. So so we got kicked out because Ismael threw up, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ismael at some point, Ismael literally when we got there, I was like, I don't even know where the fuck he got drunk, how he got drunk. I was like, oh my god, is my head's gone? Well, they, Myra, they were taking hella shots. They were pre gaming, pre gaming too. So we're just we were there for a good time though. We we're there for a good time. We we're there for a while. And then he's my like at the edge of the fucking couch and just starts throwing up. I was like, like on the dance floor, just on the dance floor. <laughs> and it's so funny because you know we were having a great ass time. I didn't even know who the fuck was around when we're being escorted out. I swear to God, we we're the last people there. Dead ass. I was like, oh, I remember at first, a- like when you were being escorted out, I was embarrassed. I was like, oh my god, not us getting escorted out. And then I look around, and I'm like, bitch, we're the only ones here. <laughs> No, literally. That's how chill it was. Like, I like that though. That there was like nobody. I love that. Yeah, it was so iconic. You really just like. And then like the moment that happens, Elizabeth's like over it because she's like, oh fuck, I have to take care of you now. Oh no, I understand her though. Like, I was gonna say too. I I hate like if Brian gets too lit. I'm like, bruh, like I can't even have a good time. I'm worried about you. That part, I can't fucking hold you. You're heavy as fuck. Like I don't like that. Me the day before, it's funny because Elizabeth, we were talking about it the day before when we went out with Izzy and Steven We had gone to again. Fremont. We went to that same club too, but it was—I uh-huh. think it was a little more lit the day before because it wasn't oh, like raining was yet. It? Okay, yeah, we had gone there, and then we went to some. We like bar hopped though. We went to different ones, and I remember at one point, Raul just goes missing. Ooh. Somebody was like, "Where's Raul?" And I'm like, "Where the fuck is he at?" <laughs> you know when you're having a good ass time, and then a bus kill. He goes all. missing. I'm like, "Oh god!" <laughs> I'm like, "Maybe he went to the bathroom." So there goes uh Stephen and his man looking for Raul. He's not in the bathroom. <laughs> Ooh. Where the fuck he at? Did he leave the bar? I don't even know where he was at. He just like, I think he just started talking to some guys. You know, you just start making friends. Yeah. He just started talking to some dudes and eventually like, he had like walked out, but then he walked back in. I don't remember. And then I'm calling him. I'm like, where are you? And he's like, I'm right here. And I'm looking around. And, like, and then that 
that bar that night was like crazier like that bar was super packed so we're like where the fuck so then we think he's outside so then we get outside we can't come back in because there's a line stop yeah so now i'm pissed because you just ended my night early no and now we're looking for you and then out of the blue he just pops up like hey y'all and i'm like where were you at (laughs) like hey all happy like whatever and i'm like where the (laughs) fuck were you and th- at this point, I'm serious. Like, now, now I'm wrong. sober and fucking mad. Stop. Where were you at? <laughs> He's like, I was right here with... And he was saying that he was right there with his friends. And I was like, no, they were looking for you. And then I found out he was like over here, whatever. But it was only like five minutes. But because we were just... Because it was so crowded, we had to like walk out. And I was like, we literally can't even get back in, bro. Like, <laughs> after that, I think we went to go eat and stuff. But it's just funny because I was telling Elizabeth, I was like, I just, why the... F- I was like, why are you going missing? Like, we're having a good time. Now we can't go back in the fucking bar, you know? Just be me. Be yeah, toxic. Like, you know, just like... And then now I'm thinking like, oh, here, I have to take care of you now. Uh-huh. Hey, what is it about us, girl? Because I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but like, I really will be like, <laughs> when I when we're out, I'm like, please don't get too drunk. Because yeah, I don't no, want to yeah. be taking care of you, you know? No, yeah. Because I'm like, you got to take care of me. Because I'm a little fucking drunk right now, too. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So then Elizabeth's like, Karina, it's fine. We're having a good time. I was like, I know, but like, we have to leave now. You know, it's just, you know, I'm drunk and I'm like, bro, like, I just worried about you. Where, you know, where we are, whatever. And it's funny because the next day, that's when we went out. And that's when Elizabeth was like upset because these men was throwing up everywhere. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I was like, remember yesterday, Queen? I was like, we're all the same. Like, <laughs> whenever they get too drunk, it's just naturally like a little annoying because I'm like, oh, now I got to take care of you. You know, it's just, um, I'm so glad people were not around at some point. You, you want to show that video where you like you're like fucking motorboating Elizabeth's boobs and she has like she literally had just oh the God. fucking pasties I know. as her dress was like down and her boobs oh, were everywhere oh my god yeah I know I was like thank god there was nobody around it bitch. was just you guys the vibes were immaculate it was just, it was just so, so much funny. fun and we were just at that point just acting stupid we were just thriving and we were even joking about like Cause it started pouring on us at that moment. My feet were soaked at that point, even like under the, under the tent thingy in Fremont, even then the floors were soaked. Like that's yeah. when Hillary hit, hit. And we were just joking about it, like over there acting fools and shit. But that was, that night was crazy. We got home till like five in the morning. I can't remember even. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That know. night. Oh, Myra also, guys, her original plan was to not go out at all, huh? I was not going to. She was I just going to do day going stuff. to do day stuff. And Karina Suegra offered, uh, I think the first night. Yeah. And, and then Myra like, was like, no. And the, no, I think she had told you, but you hadn't told me yet. But I naturally would have been like, no, because I know how Noah is with me. Mm-hmm. Like, he, I never really leave him anywhere. Yeah. So he's not used to it. Yeah. So I was scared. I was like, no. And then the next day, um, yeah, my she was gonna down. take care of Giselle's son, mm-hmm. which is Elizabeth's sister's um son. And they were like, "Come on, let's go." And I was like, "Fuck, like, should we?" I'm like, "Swag okay. as a queen, though." Like, she was telling everybody, "Like, leave the kids here. You guys go she have was fun." Like, everybody take care of the kids. And uh, and obviously, I know Karina Swag. That we we know her really, really well. Like, this is not a stranger. I'm leaving Noah too. And she has five kids. You know, she's like a grandma. She knows. She always takes care of me and stuff. So obviously, I trusted her. But I was like, "How is Noah gonna be?" Me and Brian were talking. And even Brian was like, "Myra, like Noah's down by like 9 p.m." Like, let's go for a bit. You're not leaving the city. We're, he did so good, huh? I'm like, he's a, she's in the same fucking hotel. Like, we're literally, like, we're f- not far. I was like, ah, oh, okay. He was knocked out when we when we left him. I had Raul, poor old fucking drunk. I had him, like, calling his mom. Like, yeah, he called at least four times. I know. I was like, please call her. Like, I was just so worried because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's so, you guys, Noah is, like, a Velcro baby. <laughs> he's super. Yeah. And then, but this is the thing. We, we, by the time we were ready, we had taken such a long nap by the time we were ready. It was already late. So we were like, we know we're not going to be out that long because we're already out late, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's super attached to me, too. I'm like, even if, like, I don't know, I was just freaking out. And every time we called, she's like, nope, he's asleep. He's asleep. He probably only woke he up for one feeding. Just ate. He yeah. did amazing. I was shocked. She was like, he didn't cry at all. Not he a sound. Amazing, amazing. I was like, oh, my goodness. That was my worry the whole time i was like oh my god noah like and he did so good so shout out to karina so Swagra. she's a queen i trusted her like for sure it's just more like noah like for her to even be telling to like literally guys like both just and myra we're just gonna be there to do like day things with the kids like 
for my ex suegra to even just be like, come on, guys, go out. Just leave them with me. Like, what a fucking queen. Yeah. I would have been like, not all these kids. You know? <laughs> no, and it was nice. I was like, yeah. oh, I was telling Brian, I'm like, oh my God, we really needed this. Like, this was good. It was so much fun, you yeah, guys. Yeah, it was so fun. We got so lit. Like, I it was even know. so fun. It was so, so fun. That night was so fun. Yeah. And then Noah, like, he's like up already by the time we pick him up. <laughs> oh my God. He wakes why. up when you pick him up. Huh? Yeah, he woke up when I picked him up. <laughs> And like I'm ready to go to sleep, you know. I'm not Exhausted. even used to going to sleep that late. <laughs> I was so tired. And tell me why this little kid does not go to sleep till like 8 a.m. Karina. <laughs> well, yeah, he said good morning. He said good morning. It wasn't even that late. He wakes up. He was, usually wakes up like at six. But I think like you know waking him up to take him. There, though, that's why he was he was wide awake. And I'm like, I was even telling Brandon, my like, kid didn't even know we were gone. He probably thinks we were in the room with him. And he was like, yeah. all smiley. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, when no, you guys what? picked him up, he was like, smiling. All beaming. excited. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even know we were gone. And he stayed up to 8 a.m., Karina. I was wow. an actual zombie. An actual zombie. Literally. Did he cry at all or he was just driving? He was just, yeah, like, he wanted me to, like, pass him and stuff. So I would Ooh, walk around the room and stuff. Lord have mercy. And then jasmine and david were staying in there so i didn't want to like wake them up and him be crying so i was like trying my best to like have him calm oh my god <laughs> yeah Karina. no tell me why i just remembered right now i mean literally. i was awake like i i was like a full mom mode and everything but i was exhausted and then brian i actually like went with a mindset of like no i gotta take care of no and i come back no brian i think took so much advantage Ooh, he knocked the fuck that out. usually it's funny because usually brian does like the really really early uh Shift. feedings and stuff brian really does like brian's a morning person i'm not yeah like i usually sleep in a couple hours brian will wake up like the crack of dawn to get him and i noticed he wasn't waking up i was like no he he drank like because i oh brian but i was like girl well i remember pulling up to the to the club Myra, uh-huh. like at the bar and, and, and Raul was like Ooh. i was like we just fucking got here what's going on but it's because the guys were like you know how we were making TikToks and shit before yeah, we yeah, left? Yeah. The guys were like taking shot after shot after shot. So by the time we walked out of the hotel, they were lit the house already. That is so funny. But right now that you said that about Noah, I literally just remembered that was, I don't know if it was Friday night or Saturday night, Saturday night, but Raul's parents were on the same floor as us. Mm-hmm. So we're getting to, we, we went to go, you know, we get to the floor and I'm like, let's go get Mia. And Raul was so lit. He was like, I just need to go change first. I was like, no. change. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> they're on the same floor, bro. <laughs> we had actually passed by to leave Elizabeth and her room. And she was doors down from Raul's mom's. And I was like, we're right here. But you know, when you're so drunk, you're just like an extra step is literally going to take me out. Mm-hmm. Like that where like you're barely holding yourself up. Yeah. And I was like, Raul and Raul was there already. I feel like I was still good. But I was like, we're literally here. Like, just walk a few more steps and we need we need to pick her up Mm -hmm. she's down the fucking hall and he's like i need to go to the room first and he went we went to our room boom wake up at five in the morning oh my god mia no pick her up from his mom's that wasn't the day that i went out with you guys no oh no because we went together no the day before the day before (sighs) you're your sweater was probably like, where are they? No, my sweater is a queen, and like she, is such a she queen. didn't even call until like Aww. eight in the morning. She probably knew, and she was like, oh, they. Ah, but like I've never done that, which is funny because like <laughs> I've never done that where I would be like she could just stay with her. Never, you know, especially they're on the same floor with us. I'm gonna be honest. I think Raul was feeling a little frisky because he was doing all this talking at the club <laughs> is that what it was when we get back to the room blah 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 Stop. Gonna, like, it, it no but i forgot about it and i was like we need to go pick up our kid we gotta go pick our kid up you know uh-huh. like duh like we've never done that like to just, you know. so he was saying i need to go change saying something else i think he was trying to say something else but I, it wasn't even clicking to me because i was like <laughs> i need to go get my kid it wasn't even clicking it I'm wasn't done. clicking the point is we got to the room he knocked the fuck out and like before we knew it i was like oh my god no and even like when he knocked Wait, so out nothing happened no <laughs> oh, please. so all that all that yapping for what I'm <laughs> no but even then like when we were in the room he was knocking out i was like um we have to go get mia <laughs> he was like just let me take a little nap boom we both knock out and yeah she calls us like in the morning like how are you guys yeah like she she's waking up and that's when we went to go get her but i was like oh my god she's a queen like she's an absolute queen I've never done that, like, ever, to be like, you know. But she was, oh, my God, my sweater loves Mia. 
but yeah she we i was like oh my god not us being so drunk that we just like blacked out of the room Mm -hmm. but luckily she was in great hands you know yeah but she's a queen oh my god vegas was so much fun guys and and then we got back and like i feel like the weather was still kind of like gloomy it was giving fall yeah yeah and then the next day what did we do we just left huh we went to go eat at a buffet Mm -hmm. like off the strip yeah that was a good trip it was a such a fun trip oh my god noah was thriving that even yesterday he was a little fussy i was like he got used to us walking around holding him the whole time (laughs) down the strip that's so funny and now he's like oh we're back home (laughs) he had a blast i knew he was gonna have a blast because that was being carried mia loves it because like she gets walked around in her stroller all day obviously we're highlighting on the partying you guys but like a lot of family activities the kids had a blast during the day like all the walking on the strip take going to restaurants going to like just they're like sightseeing the kids are thriving in the strollers you know i forgot my freaking carrier so i don't carry noah (gasps) me and brian i forgot our fucking stroller you did so I, we, we're literally on our half our ha, like like halfway through vegas Mara, and i'm like the stroller and i was like do i go back for it i was like i know you're kidding there's no way on earth we're gonna turn back two fucking halfway? hours wait no mom is i'm not i'm not kidding wait maybe <laughs> like an hour in he's like do i go back oh, i was like absolutely not and i was like Mara's coming tomorrow maybe she could take the stroller but then we were like you know what like it's not gonna fit that you guys have both the strollers all the luggage four people luggage i was like there's no way so we actually just instacarted a, like a stroller mm. but it worked out and it was so fun that's why see i've said this before this is why i love vegas like so many day activities you could do with kids mm-hmm. and so much that you want to turn up you got that you want to do family things you got that too so that's why i love vegas so much but it was a blast it's a blast unforgettable weekend mm-hmm. an absolute so fucking blast yep and whew, you guys i fall. talk too much huh fall's almost here girl oh my god i'm excited fall. for fall i feel like vegas was like the with the like, sphere with the, the pumpkin sphere i was like holy shit i'm ready for fall oh my god yeah we finally saw that sphere that you see on tiktok yeah um it was pretty cool but i was saying how like i feel like that was like the end of summer bonanza oh 100 like because that's it I'm you ready know for fall like fall is coming up i see so many tiktoks of people doing like tj maxx hauls mm where they go get like decor and stuff you know what i'm i'm really excited for fall i can't wait i'm actually a lot more excited this year around i feel like last year it was like uh, i wasn't really feeling it that much this year i'm like oh my god i feel like with noah i want to i'm such a holiday girl like when it comes to decor and stuff and i feel like last year i was really slacking on the on the fall decor so now that like noah's here like i was telling brian i'm like i want him to grow up seeing the house like deck the fuck out mm-hmm. for the holidays so i want to we were also thinking of doing um a welcome fall party no oh my god yes we want to do a <laughs> we we're talking about party. it i was telling brian i'm like i want to do a little tiktok like fully decking the fuck out of my house like i, I went to that. um albertson's yesterday and their fall decor queen out like the decor that we like let's be real there's two different kinds of decor the aesthetic and the tacky i'm trying to be the fucking tacky there's the aesthetic great pumpkins and i'm like for what i just let me tell you something i need the orange i'm here for the neutrals i'm here for all that decor year round but when it comes to fall bring the fucking orange leaves out when it comes to fall bitch paint the studio orange you imagine i'm I, i'm here for the hello fall signs i'm um, here for the pumpkin spice and everything nice yes sweater weather all the sweater that. weather i'm here for everything fall related i had seen the hay Albertsons. pumpkin all of it Rena yeah. albertson's had like this decor it was like a big truck full of like pumpkins i'm like oh my <gasps> god i'm like i need that for my house wait when are we decorating the studio for fall i'm not sure on some real shit like it's gotta happen like now i think Mm-hmm. Cause like you know, there's like the pre-fall where people just like at when the end of August they start freaking for fall. I am always that ridiculous bitch decorating like at the August. end of August. Yeah, like now, mm-hmm. like that's always me. I just get so excited, and then I have fall decor for like three months. Yeah, no, I think September is like a more reasonable because it gives you the extra month. Yeah, you don't want to do it on October either. That's only thirty days. Nah, October you're decorating too. Let fucking me tell you late. something. Day after Halloween, I don't want to see a damn fall thing out. I know we still got Thanksgiving. No, see this. But is my Mariah thing. Carey defrosted, and that's all I want to fucking know. <laughs> Mariah Carey defrosted because uh, no, girl, I'm having a rough day. <laughs> I took a shit, Loki. <laughs> stop. I could wait it out though. Oh my god, no, stop. But yeah, we gotta do that fall welcome party. 
Absolutely. Like, not even party. Just, just get the girls fall. to wear the turtleneck cardigans with the... Or fall PJs. Or fall PJs. See, my thing is, like, fall and Halloween are different decor to me. They're different. That's why I like to decorate early. Because I'm going to do mostly fall. And then when Halloween gets closer, I'll start bringing the bats out and shit. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. Very much that. Yeah. But I'm so excited to decorate actually i feel like summer's coming to an end so fast almost it kind of is everybody's back in school i'm like whoa it's done like that's it we really had a hot girl summer though period we did so much fun it's funny because summer went by so fast for me i was telling brian i'm like noah was born april (gasps) my entire summer flashed through my eyes it did i mean the first couple months with a newborn you're just kind of like adjusting to everything Mm -hmm. and then now that he's a little older he just turned four months like what i'm like four months just went by i just went through spring and summer like this literally like by so flew through my eyes how was it gonna be september already that's crazy like literally 2023 just started it did like i just really did i mean it flies a year by feels like it just started that's crazy it literally flies by too fucking quick yeah oh my god speaking of september brian Tito's birthday is september 1st i do not know if i'm gonna be here next week i'm still trying to think like how i'm gonna be this next week i think it comes out around the right this week it actually next week the episode comes out on his actual birthday yeah 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 um which for his birthday last year we did last year was really hard I mean, this year, I'm sure it's going to be just as difficult. But, like, with Noah and stuff, I think it could be, like, a little bit more, like, try to make it something more memorable memorable for Noah growing up, too. Like, celebrating his birthday. Yeah, Does I'm that make like, sense? That's so cute, man. So, last year, my mom made green pozole. I remember I was, like, I remember thinking, like, I want this to be a, a tradition where we make, like, green pozole. I don't know why. It's just giving, mm-hmm. like, little party vibes when we were younger, when we would just have, like, little parties in the home. And they were, like they were just little but they were just everything to us you know what i mean um so i wanted her i, I made her she made pozole for us i remember we made a cake with me with jasmine and you remember we made like made yeah. him a cake like made it ourselves yeah. um the kids broke a pinata like over the little okay, yeah. staircase like it was very like small little birthday dinner we sang happy birthday to him it was like mm-hmm. it was really intimate and just really cute um go visit him we went to go visit him um we even decorated like his little living room and stuff and it was memorable i i for sure till this day i'm like how the fuck did we pull through that day yeah on and my family made it very we all were it was very like chill vibes i I think think everybody read the room you were pregnant at the time right it's just that i was pregnant with noah i don't think my parents knew nobody knew i think i knew only you knew Uh so nobody knew yet because i told my whole family i was pregnant till i was like close to 10 weeks i think i think that i had just found out i was pregnant like maybe like a week before oh wow so i always say that that was like brancy those little like grand surprise for us oh yeah because i I always i always felt like he was gonna surprise us in some kind of way so that was our way oh my god fun fact today um august 22nd is rainbow baby day and i remember that day um i really 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 badly was like gonna test for like something in me was making me like test and for one reason or another, um, my friend's baby was at the hospital, which she was here in the last episode. We'll, we'll get into oh that my as God, well. Yes, that's when everything was going on, yeah, too. Yeah, that's when everything was going on. So her baby already had a few days in the hospital because, mind you, Crystal in the last episode said it was going to be like a year, you yeah. know, since everything happened. So her baby was already in the hospital for a few days. And I remember that day, something in me just wanted me, something in me was just telling me to take a pregnancy test. And for whatever reason, I didn't. And I get home. And I'm like, look, like going through my phone and I find out it's Rainbow Baby Day. And something in me was like, God, what are you trying to tell me right now? (laughs) And obviously I got home late because we were at the hospital. The next day I take a pregnancy test and I found out I was pregnant with Noah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I remember that. I'm like, that's so crazy. That 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 could have been another huge. So tomorrow would be a year that you found out. Tomorrow marks the year that I found out. Tomorrow marks the year that Noah changed our life. (laughs) <laughs> yeah he's an icon i literally was i was looking at him today because i obviously knew it was R- rainbow baby day and i was like noah i found out you were you were my baby you know tomorrow i was talking oh, yeah, more, so. and 
that little boy does not even know like the he has no from clue. that day on i had never seen happiness like that in a while so from that day on i'm like you don't even know like what you've the happiness you've brought us he's, he's a, an icon i love yeah. that little so boy so he turns no i was gonna say he turns one he what turns no one. no so briancito turns one september no two. he turns two years old september 1st yeah so this whole month obviously i've been like an emotional wreck because i'm like oh my god he would have been two you know oh it's like another i think it never gets easy i think every year it's just like a reminder so i've always obviously been like on a funk wow. and i've always obviously been dreading like um the episode the next episode because huh. i know the last episode i wasn't there so i'm like am i gonna be here this episode like i really don't know we're not filming that day but i just know i'm gonna want to acknowledge his birthday and but if i'm part- not yeah yeah it's gonna it's gonna be hard but if i'm not here if you guys could please light a candle on his birthday september 1st so this year uh me and brian want to make the pozole that's iconic i want to make him proud and be like mommy tried to make the pozole because i've been on a um cooking journey she's been in her cooking journey senora era me too I really started feeling that I think once I was pregnant with Noah. I don't know something you know, in me Amara, just clicked. Easy. I, my mom taught me how to make the pozole, the red one, and that one I was mm. shocked at how easy it was. Let's make the the green one. Like pozole sounds complicated. It, I think that it's easier than making fucking rice. Like it's it's actually oh, shit. really it's like making gallo de pollo, but like with chiles. Salsa. <laughs> yeah, Literally. yeah. I, I was like Brian. I'm like I think the only complicated part would be the not even complicated. It's so it would, easy. It's just the 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 yeah it seems there's easy. so many more complicated dishes like cheese rellenos are hard mole mole is hard cause it, from scratch well, if you make it like how my mom makes it yeah from scratch that shit's hard um but yeah so i want to still keep that tradition going i want to make pozole make it ourselves and then we want to make the like bake the cake ourselves like make it because i'm that. not this is just special because we're the ones making it i love that um this time i didn't have any like friends over last time it was literally just my parents and brian's brian's mom with just you guys also it's such a vulnerable moment yeah like i want to be able to like cry comfortably and just be like you know um but this year i was talking to elizabeth about it i'm like i i think i might like they obviously respect it but i'm like i think i might want you guys there you know Mm -hmm. like the friends like obviously just just close friends Mm -hmm. um because they understand you know they live through it with me and everything um but do something little this is not a party this is not like anything just simply you know acknowledging his birthday obviously yeah, of course. so September. i'm like yeah september 1st you guys if you guys can light a candle for my baby and yeah so i don't know i'll see if i'm gonna be here next week yeah we'll see and i already know like because it's gonna come out that day like like i really loved and respected that you guys saying happy birthday to him last year and I just know I would not be able to physically be here and do that. I would be a mess. That was hard. So that I think that's what I'm dreading. And I also don't want to come on here and pretend it's not his birthday and just talk about something else. And also, I don't know if I told you last year how we want to make it a tradition where we decorate for fall the day after his birthday. Because mm. there's so much like trauma held with like fall with me. Yeah. That was like around the time everything happened that my home was like fall vibes. Like, so I have a lot of trauma with fall. But that's why last year I had a really hard time decorating for fall. Like I decorated it like literally I think the morning of Halloween. Um, so this time around I told Brian, I'm like, we had talked about it last year too, but I just, I was not ready for it this year. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to, I want to go back to, you know, enjoying my seasons like fall. That was the main one that stands out. Cause I used to be a big fall fanatic prior to this, you guys, mm-hmm. huge fall fanatic. Me and Queen have always been into the candles, been into all of it. We are huge diehard fans fall fans like dead ass we love fall we love fall so when everything happened like i completely like it was like i had so much trauma with fall i couldn't even see the leaves i couldn't even smell a candle like it was like a lot for me like it was too much like literally triggering. the super triggering and this time around i'm like no i really want to do what i had said decorate the day after his birthday so you know there's no trauma held because already i struggle a lot like leading up to his birthday like i'm a i'm a fucking roller coaster of emotions so i don't want to link my emotions to fall decor yeah so i'm gonna wait and you know the what? day after his birthday so like there's no connection from like my trauma with it there's gonna be it's gonna be very different this year very um, different i think you're you're gonna get more excited about fall because no, well i'm telling be, you i am take noah to pumpkin patches yes i actually am looking forward to dress it. him up 
there's so many like little trick or treat yeah. things, Myra, right here, like in Riverside, like in like these a little, little pumpkin. Oh my they, god, that's there's so excited. many like activities, Myra, that they have like at the plaza and stuff. Yeah, where the kids go trick or treating and they have like face painting and all this stuff. Yeah, he's gonna love. No, it. I'm actually, I am excited. I told Brian, I'm like, this little boy brought so much light back. Like every holiday, I'm so excited about. <laughs> like yeah. super, super and excited. He's gonna thrive. Yeah, so we want to decorate. We are gonna decorate September second. Okay. Like so that does that make sense to not yeah, like get it. M- like emotionally attach myself like because I'm already a, a roller coaster leading up to his birthday. I get it. That once his birthday passes, I'm kind of like my emotions are a lot more. My mind's a lot more clear, and then huh. I'm ready to like get into the fall season. I get it. So September second, I'm going. I'm going ham in my home. <laughs> Queen. Yeah, I know. I need to decorate too. I don't know when I'm gonna decorate, but I'll see. We gotta decorate the studio too. I think you know what I was about to say. Like I think either next week or maybe we'll wait for the week, week after. after. Where we have to de- decorate for fall for sure. Because when Skinny Tober hits, it's spooky vibes. Oh, Skinny Tober is gonna be <laughs> spooky the fucking house. We want the shit to look like a freaking haunted haunted house. So maybe all September we do like very cozy. Yes. Let's bring a fucking fireplace here, bitch. Yes. If you guys remember, oh my god, we should. If yes. you guys remember last year in September we did the the fall vibes with like the the fall like blanket fall orange vibes, but se- but October bitch spooky vibe karina we can have um an electric fireplace you don't even have to have a I heater love that. you Just know what i want to do here on the sign like bats mm. for how the spooky tober let us know guys you know we love the fucking tacky during halloween like we want like super halloween so let us know any and ideas for fall, all the pumpkin spice yeah i think nice. fall might be a little more aesthetic <laughs> yeah more aesthetic Very orange, cozy, cute vibes. orange vibes halloween town energy Very pumpkin energy yeah. but wait till october bitch yeah We're bringing the fucking tacky um i forgot to mention but last episode you guys thank you for all the love i mean the, oh all the God. love you guys are giving crystal. crystal is so grateful you guys she reached out super, to super us grateful. and was like that she's so appreciative of all of your guys's comments mm-hmm. and like i'm so glad that it resonated like with so many people you know i'm proud of her because i know she so had talked about her. One thing that oh, obviously we didn't say in the video, but Crystal, you know, she was nervous. She she did need guidance. So that um, I know people were like talking about like Elizabeth and you like, but you guys, I think more than anything, were like trying to no, guide her I in the conversation. Wanna, I did want to bring that up because I did not mean at all to come across like rude and cutting her off. Like, that's never what I want to do. Like, that was a really serious and important topic to all of us, you guys like super serious and i would never want it to come across as us just trying to get our fucking word in like yeah at all no literally and i do want to say this also for elizabeth because i know she saw the comments and she felt bad because she was like should i have not been there but i do want to say you guys that you know crystal like she she wanted all of us to be here because you know uh it was her first time coming on crystal she doesn't really even come out in vlogs much you guys like mm-hmm. this is her first time going on camera she was pretty nervous about it she's so well spoken i'm so proud of her and i feel like with this she whole did so good this whole journey you know like me you and elizabeth were very like involved in this very entire journey heavily involved in it, it only felt right to have elizabeth if yeah. she was not here it would be like uh she yeah. was really she, part of this whole journey know, she told me she's like i do want elizabeth to go on so i could feel more comfortable because the three of you guys were really involved in the whole journey yeah and they we know everything and and like she did i do feel that it did make her feel more comfortable that we were here as a group friends i feel like it would have been a little bit more intimidating if it was just me and you like almost interviewing her like with us the four of us being here it just felt like we were just hanging out even talking elizabeth elizabeth told me she's like crystal was already telling me like if i can guide her in the conversation exactly i'm like yeah she Uh was nervous you know obviously um she did amazing though she's very well spoken and she definitely yeah, brought awareness we definitely do want to say that though like we did not mean at all to interrupt and mm-hmm. I, oh my god when i was seeing the comments i was like fuck I, I get it i know what you guys are saying i i we wanted to yeah like to guide her like she was doing amazing and like, she was mm-hmm. doing so good on her own you know but i also didn't just want to like you know you leave wanna, it to her yeah you want to be involved in the conversation i felt like almost like you know when you you know it's her first time coming on camera so i almost felt like i was like trying to like help guide her mm-hmm. but it just it came across as like maybe like speaking over her and like shutting her down but that's not at all what i was trying to do like i yeah. was more so like trying to have her feel like oh i'm not the only one talking like they are talking to so it feels like a conversation yeah no that it's was really it that's you know what I was it's literally a conversation i think with a podcast naturally like sometimes you forget the cameras even recording honestly and you're oh, kind of yeah. just talking as friends i mean if we go back months down when everything was happening we all the emotions you know you know 
you're you're having these thoughts in your head and you're like piece of shit in your head you know like when when she's just saying that stuff so then you're saying it out loud like i can't believe he or i can't believe her when she's talking yeah, about yeah, the lady yeah. and like yeah I, I understand though like when people are saying like where it just seemed like we were kind of just trying to yeah. like you know but yeah just to but like clear not it, at all That's she i think more than anything she was like nervous so we were trying to make her feel comfortable and guide her you know to tell her story and we do realize that we need to learn not to speak over each other. Like, that's one of our biggest things. Like, I definitely People recognize like that. that. Though. The, the comments are always going to be mixed. They like the table. They don't like the table. They like when we talk over each other. They don't like when we talk to each other. They, <laughs> I did. Yeah, I saw. It's like, you, who, girl, you can't please everybody. They like when Elizabeth comes on. But in that one, they were like, why is she there? She's trying to take over the podcast. Stop. Stop. Were, I saw one comment that said that. I don't want to say it. it was just one. <laughs> but it did get a few likes and it's just funny because it's like you know I actually not like, y'all wanting her to be a permanent guest and then you're like why is she here that's exact oh my god elizabeth was already like like telling me at, in the buffet uh, and Sunday. i'm addressing this you guys because elizabeth like she's a fucking queen she told me we had her come on and then you she know was, pobrecita getting dragged for what she was telling me she's like fuck like have you seen the comments i'm getting dragged i was like elizabeth don't even take it to heart every episode one episode they don't like me one episode they don't like karina in the next episode, they love us. Well, I swear, it's like this in every episode. Something new that they nitpick. By the next episode, on to like a different topic. I, I feel it's like not for that the, deep. You know what though? Like for real, I feel like with a podcast, I take the comments very lightly. Yeah. Like the when I get constructive criticism on the podcast, I actually just like I'm like okay. Oh, I there's get certain it. things we've said where I'm like okay, like I no, I, I feel you, girl. Like yeah, yeah I no. For and sure. honestly, Myra, they're never rude. They really aren't. They actually, you guys are so respectful. Like, and I love you guys for that. You guys will actually be like, I love you guys, but it's constructive criticism. And I'm like, it's coming from a good place. They're never like, shut the fuck up, Karina. You know, I don't think they're ever coming for a character. It's more like y'all talk over each other. I know. And we trust me, we recognize that shit and it makes me cringe. I'm like, oh my God. Myra looks like a bitch or like, I'm like, okay. But (laughs) But (laughs) thank you guys though for listening to Crystal. And I'm so happy that she was able to tell her story and, and you know, that it, um, sorry, I, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, sheesh, I look, I can't believe I came on this podcast <laughs> like this today. But I love, no, you're so real for that. I fucking, listen, I just want to have a day. This is why I'm wearing glasses. Where I just, I look come, fucking crazy. I want to have a day where we get ready on camera. <gasps> that would be so. Like do our makeup, but we would definitely have to have the table back. We get ready with me. Yeah, we'd have to have a, a table back. We should do the get ready with me when we have our product launch. Oh, we should. Yeah. That's taking a damn century imagine Oof, literally. Have, the, the table would have to be back on here though <laughs> but anyways you guys um thank you guys so much for tuning in today and you guys if y'all don't know let me remind you the episodes do come out all in all podcast platforms on thursdays you get the full episode the night before Spotify, apple podcasts on wednesday technically at midnight but it's like technically thursday yeah i like to call it wednesday night because sometimes i'm up at 12 who is yeah wednesday night wednesday at midnight you want to hear the podcast it's up on podcast platforms and if you're like eastern time i'm sure it's yeah sooner. no a it's lot of you sooner. guys know if you're eastern time it comes out later actually it's it will 12 a.m you yes, know pacific, pacific Standard Standard time. time but a lot of you guys do message us like on fridays like I can't wait for the episode today i'm like I, I wonder if some of them don't know that it comes out earlier on podcast platforms so if you're on your way to work you're driving somewhere getting ready or something you want to hear the podcast early mm-hmm. you will find us there girl and if you want to see the visuals just hear wa- it. watch it hear it again and then watch it <laughs> right right but we hope that you guys enjoyed this episode happy fall uh, <laughs> happy fall queens hope you it's had a great summer fall, yeah fall is september 22nd girl Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. So late in the month. Right? But thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys in the next podcast. <laughs>